What's up everybody, in today's video we're gonna be talking about firmware updates from DJI for the Neo and the Osmo Action 5 and what it means about your products and how much better they're gonna get. So let's jump into it. What's up, I'm Joe, this is my channel, Joseph Blake Photography. I am a portrait and adventure photographer here in Las Vegas, Nevada, as well as Southern California. And on this channel, we talk about tech and news and gear and tips and tricks and reviews and everything that relates to creating content if you're delivering to clients or if you're just making stuff for your friends and family and for yourself. We talk about the way that we do it and the things that we use to do it here on this channel. If that's the type of thing that you're into, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Down below, I've got links to all of my social media profiles as well as to the gear that I use both to make videos here in the studio and to shoot video and photo out in the field. Go ahead and check those out. And if that's the type of thing that you're into, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. And if at the end of the video, you think that I've done a good job and this was informative to you, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. But that's enough about me, enough about the channel. Let's go ahead and jump into talking about these firmware updates. All right, so first things first, let's talk about the DJI Neo. So we have firmware updates for the DJI Neo. Now, the first thing on the docket in this firmware update, obviously, is support for the N. Those goggles were just released. They are a lower priced version of DJI's goggles to allow you to do super cool headset stuff with the Neo and not have to pay an arm and a leg. Obviously, they're releasing these in combos, so you needed to have a firmware update to make them fully compatible. That's probably the most boring part of this update, but it's important. So DJI has taken their rock steady stabilization that they use inside of the Osmo Action cameras, right? The things that make your mountain bike ride look really, really smooth, and they've baked it into the headset. So this is now something that you can actually add uh, to the Goggles 3 and the N3 headset in order to get rock steady stabilized imagery in your in your headset, especially on windy days and times when really the drone might be just kind of a little wobbly. Also a part of this update, in the DJI Fly app, they've now added the ability to shoot in a vertical mode. Now, unlike the DJI drones that have a camera that can literally click like this and go vertical for full vertical shooting, which the Neo cannot do and that is not. What they're allowing you to do effectively is crop into a vertical frame on the sensor in order to have vertically oriented video and content that is ready to be distributed really quickly on social media platforms like TikTok or Instagram or here on YouTube as a short. If you're wanting a really quick workflow for video like that, it makes it really easy if it's already in that vertical orientation as opposed to having to post process it or edit it that vertical video. So normally the Neo is shooting in 4K in 16 by 9, so now you'll be shooting in 16 by 9 vertical, but it'll be 1080p, but up to 60 frames per second, which again is really, really good for social media distribution. That's really, that's really the resolution that we're all still using for social media. Next are improvements to the virtual uh, controls that you get on your phone. So if you're out here controlling your Neo, right, and you're trying to fly it like this, you might want to flip it like this but you couldn't do that before. It was stuck in a vertical mode. This way you can actually see more of what you're filming while you're controlling it with the virtual joysticks on your phone. Now, for folks who are recording using the N3 or the RC2 controllers, they've now actually added the ability as a firmware update to the Neo to record audio. You can now also add noise reduction, which is really nice if you're, say, out on a mountaintop on a windy day, uh, and maybe you've got your DJI Mic 2, or maybe your new DJI Mic, or maybe the new Mic Mini when it comes out, or maybe the new Mic Mini when it comes out, and it's windy and you wanna reduce noise or there's a lot of noise around you, something like that, that's really nice. It'll bake that into your file. And last but not least, there are just general performance updates with this firmware. Tracking speed has been increased, although we don't know exactly how much, and positioning performance has been improved. We'll have to see that implemented and in the wild before we can say how good it is, but as they continue to improve, hey, anything is better than nothing. Before we get into the next firmware update, I just, I wanna put in a plug really quick for my Instagram account. Now, here on YouTube, we talk a lot about tech and news and gear and all that sort of thing, but I am a working photographer that does portraits, landscapes, and adventure photography, 
and I dabble in the occasional product and event photography as well. But if you haven't heard the story, uh, while my daughter was being born and my wife and I were in the hospital last year, my Instagram and Facebook accounts, my professional accounts, uh, were hacked. And yes, I had two-factor and all the codes and all that sort of stuff, but, but somehow using an old email address that I'd used as a backup, they got in. And they posted something. I don't know what it was, but it was enough for Facebook to shut my Instagram and my Facebook account down completely. And after four months of fighting with them, they deleted it. Uh, I had over a thousand Instagram followers and hundreds of posts, both on Instagram and Facebook, and those are now gone. And my other professional Facebook page has now been orphaned. So I need you to help me to grow my Instagram presence. So I would just really appreciate it as a favor, at Joseph Blake Photo and just follow me over there. It would mean a ton to me and to my photography business. Okay, enough about that. Let's get back to the firmware updates. So next we have the Osmo Action 5. This camera has actually been getting also a ton of firmware updates since it's been released and it sounds like DJI continues to listen to the creators and the folks that have this camera. In a previous iteration, they upped the ability for us to increase the bit rate on the camera. And now they're adding improved clarity into Super Night Mode. So now Super Night Mode is now available in either 4K, 2.7K, and available in either 48, 50, or 60 frames per second. They've also added support USB-C to DisplayPort. So now you can actually connect a USB-C uh, out on the camera to while well, it's powered on uh, to the DisplayPort connection on the back of a monitor. My question is why? So if you know, let me know down in the comments an Osmo Action 5 Pro action camera with a USB-C to display. Why would you hook it up to DisplayPort specifically? Let me know down in the comments what that's about. You can now attach the field of view boost lens and then go into the settings and activate that and it will obviously give you a much wider field of view. It's over 170 degrees field of view, almost 180. They've also added the ability to configure how much pre-roll you want. Uh, you now have the option of two minutes or five minutes. That is a lot of pre-roll. And they've improved vehicle mounted stabilization. So if you have the camera attached to a vehicle, they've improved the stabilization in those situations. So that if you're moving really fast or you're accelerating, uh, it's not gonna mess up your stabilization. It's gonna, it's not gonna confuse the camera basically. <laughs> Along with that and some minor bug fixes and performance updates like you normally see in a firmware update. This has actually been pretty cool to see DJI really turn up the heat on improving some of their products along with the fact that we've seen so many products uh, so far this year. So if you have these and you're planning on updating, let me know down in the comments. But if you don't, let me know if this makes the difference. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. That's, that's what tells the algorithm that I'm doing the right thing. Again, I am a working portrait and adventure photographer here in Las Vegas, as well as in Southern California. If you are looking to shoot with me, there are links down below, as well as links to all my social media platforms. Don't forget to hit me up over there on Instagram. I had someone ask me before if I reply to comments on Instagram. I, I do, I'm just slow at it. I'm still, honestly, I'm just not very good at Instagram. So I'm learning and I need your help to get better. Also down below is a list of all the gear that I use. So if you don't want to know what I'm running around with, that's what it is. And again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.